Throughout the history of video game releases, they were always accompanied by one thing, and that, my fellow viewers, is a good old hoax. Some examples being the Chicken Lady in the Modern Warfare series, or how to always get a ray gun from the mystery box tricks. Just like every other iceberg out there, a redditor compiled this iceberg list from head to toe with a few video game hoaxes you may or may not know. If you don't mind, pause this video right now and leave a like, and maybe drop a comment. I make sure to read all the comments that I get. Oh, and without further ado, let's check out these video game hoaxes. Chocolate Factory Level I'm not sure if they still sell these manuscripts anymore, but before in the days of the old, before internet, there were texts that held the knowledge of secrets of every video game there was to know at the time of book releases. Everything from secrets, strategies, guides, and walkthroughs. There were even leaderboards and Q&A panels. And for my non-legit friends, yes, there were cheat code books. Some might recall the names of these books. Nintendo Power, Game Informer, or the even plentiful Pokemon handbooks. Jeff Rovin, author of the How to Win Nintendo Games guidebooks, added in an article of one of his books that he had heard a rumor of a secret original Super Mario Bros. level taking place inside of a chocolate factory. Although we had no way of accessing this level, with nothing but hopes, dreams, and a factory full of chocolate, speculators of this secret level searched every nook and cranny of the game, but to no prevail, the level didn't exist. We were bamboozled. For those that actually had fun growing up and didn't live under a rock, you probably know that Rock Band and Guitar Hero have cheat codes. And one of the cheat codes specifically for Rock Band 2 is called Awesomeness Detection. The description of this code is said to let harmonics know that you're awesome. Other than that, people weren't sure if it made any actual changes to the game. Some people speculated that the cheat may have affected the voice of the single player, but it was soon realized that it doesn't actually do anything at all. One of the game's developers confessed in a harmonics podcast that the cheat code in fact didn't really do anything. But hey, at least you know you're awesome. Sometime in 2015, a Five Nights at Freddy's 2 video popped up that showed a hidden animatronic that many believed to be the infamous purple guy. According to those that watched the video, the phone began to ring, and after ringing an image of an animatronic briefly flashed on the screen. The suit was limp and slumped against the wall, similar to Golden Freddy. But if it isn't obvious at first glance, this image is nowhere near real. A little while after Animal Crossing's initial release back on the GameCube in 2001, stories of an evil bulldog villager with red eyes named Brutus began spreading. This Brutus character was said to join the neighborhood of a player that wasn't active for a while and would start messing up the save. Players that had Brutus in their world reported that Brutus would speak in binary code and would even crash the game upon entering his home. As of this video, there is only one screenshot confirming the existence of Brutus. In 2007, a video surfaced of an alleged Super Mario Galaxy DS port that could be downloaded for free once the player managed to gather every Power Star in the original game as both Mario and Luigi, then feeding said Power Stars to Luma which would then allow you to download the DS port of the game through the DS Download Play feature. The DS port was claimed to have co-op modes and that every Power Star collected would grant the player 10 Wii Shop points to spend at their leisure. Soon after, it was announced that the footage of the game was fake, and it was made by a man named Pablo Belmonte, a well-known creator of Nintendo-themed hoaxes. On the Mario Wiki in 2009, a user named Steuben Rubin mentioned that they are in possession of an unreleased beta copy of Paper Mario. He also claimed that numerous things were not present in the final version of the game. He also made mention that his copy of the game also included a fight against Prince Mush at the Glitz Pit, and a fight against Rocco Pinata at the Pinata Parlor, as well as an entire list of unknown enemies. As an April Fool's prank, the Electronic Gaming Monthly magazine released an article that claimed that Sonic as well as Tails were both hidden playable characters in Super Smash Bros. Melee. According to the article, in order to unlock these characters, the player would have to defeat 20 enemies in cruel melee mode. Doing so would start a match where the player would have to fight both Sonic and Tails simultaneously. This rumor was proved to be false, but Sonic creator Yuji Naka said in an interview that Sonic was going to appear in Melee but was cut due to time restraints. 
but Sonic has appeared in every entry of Super Smash Bros. so far since Brawl. In the chat room feature on Diablo 2, there is a blue gem at the bottom of the screen that when clicked on for the first time activates a message that says gem activated. If clicked on again, the message gem deactivated would appear. On certain occasions, the message perfect gem activated would appear in the chat and then people began claiming that activating the perfect gem would transform all the gems in your inventory into perfect gems. When asked about this, Blizzard responded with, A chat gem is working as intended, but in 2011, developer Jay Wilson said that the chat gem doesn't actually do anything. There was an old Pokemon rumor that if you had both a level 100 Mew and a level 100 Mewtwo in your party, that the Pokemon would actually evolve into Mew 3 a legendary Pokemon before the game Sun and Moon. However, no coding of Mew 3 exists in any of the games. Back in the late 1990s, Narayan Pattison, deputy editor for N64 Gamer, an Australian magazine, started a prank where he posted a photo of a topless woman as a screenshot for the game 007 GoldenEye, with the caption saying, Write in and we may give you the nude code. The article implied that the nude code implied to the character Natalia. Hundreds of entries were sent into the magazine, people flooding their inbox asking for the apparent new code. Pattison eventually exposed the article as a prank, but some people still sent in mail, persisting for the code for the next six months after. On the Bowser's Castle map in Mario Kart 64, there is a thwomp nicknamed Marty that is trapped inside of a cage. Rumors began to spread about a secret method that would release the thwomp and unlock him as a playable character. According to the rumor, it is possible to unlock Marty by choosing Bowser as the racer and selecting the Bowser's Castle map. You are then supposed to drive around the map backwards, then circle around the Bowser's statue three times counterclockwise. If the sequence is done correctly, Marty would then be unlocked. In GTA 4, there is a rumor that a half-man, half-rat creature lurks the subway tunnels in the Easton service station. Apparently, when approached, the creature will yell its name and attempt to kill you. The rumor started when the following image surfaced the internet on forums, although most people dismissed the image as either a mod or a Photoshop image. The Marquee is a special building in Animal Crossing City Folk where players can watch various shows. Rumors about this building began popping up when players first talked to an NPC that mentioned something about a hidden room above the theater meant only for platformers. This then laid the claims that certain actions performed would allow the player access to the room. The pendant is a starting gift that players can obtain in the first Dark Souls game, and because the item is a one-time only offer, many rumors began popping up claiming of multiple other ways of obtaining the item. During the 2014 E3 demo of Super Smash Bros for 3DS and Wii U, many claimed they spotted a Chunky Kong assist trophy amongst the many that were listed. Although when the game released, Chunky was nowhere to be found. Eventually, the person that originally made the claim came out admitting it to be false. Shortly after The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time was released, rumors of a secret dungeon began to spread. In order to reach this temple, the rumor claimed that the player would need to kill 700 stout children, which would then summon a giant skeletal monster. Killing this monster would then create a portal to the Sky Temple. This rumor was then debunked as false due to there being no Sky Temple existing in the game's code. In the game Fallout 3, there is a radio station called Galaxy News Radio, hosted by a character named 3Dog. It is said if you kill 3Dog, his assistant Margaret will take over as host of the show. After destroying Raven Rock, it will supposedly become a radio broadcasting station that spits out random messages. But over time, the messages that the game released seem to coincidentally coincide with a few events that caused many to believe that the game has the ability to predict the future. An IGN wiki for a party game called Crash Bash was edited to add several cheat codes that would unlock multiple characters that were originally inaccessible through regular gameplay. After Ocarina of Time was released, Nintendo game translator Dan Owenson claimed that there was a secret code that would make the characters living in the Lon Lon Ranch area of the game go nude. Owenson was hoarded by people begging him to release the code, but to no prevail, the code just didn't exist. 
In the year 2000, it was claimed by World Net Daily that Saddam Hussein, the previous president of Iraq, had managed to use a multitude of PlayStation 2 game systems to build a supercomputer capable of advanced military applications. In GTA San Andreas, there is a rumor of a ghostly figure in the small town of Las Brujas that could be found near the Sherman Dam near the Bone County area. Many players have said to encounter this ghostly creature and described it as a feminine humanoid with entirely black skin. Just like the Bigfoot myth, many believe that this is fake, while others still hold belief to its validity. I hope you guys enjoyed this short video game hoax iceberg. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. And if you still have a hankering for another iceberg, check out this playlist I made. And I'll see you guys in the next video. My name is Lost Disciple, and peace out.